Right, welcome back to the Hot Cloud Data topic. Today, I would like to share with you interesting the algorithm called the range set. It helps us to do the segmentation, segmentation, okay, from the uh, point cloud data. Right here, you can see the red right here is the, the traffic car, right? The traffic car. How we can do that? How the range set help us to, again, the obstacle. Okay, right here and right here. Uh, last video, you already saw the point cloud data in simulation right here, right? And we add a noise, it look like a real data point right here, right? And in this data point, you see a lot of the object, some the obstacles, some not obstacles. So how we separate this part? We use the range set. So range set means stand for random sample consensus and its methods for detecting outliers in data. So range set runs for the maximum number of iteration and return the model with the best fit. Its iteration randomly pick a subsample of the data and fit a model through it. It suggests the line of plane, so then the iteration with the highest number of the inliers or lowest noise is yield the best model. Okay, I will explain detail in the picture, and it's have you easy to understand. So Ryan says you have will have a lot of iteration in the data point. So it's iteration they randomly pick up the subset of points and they fit a model to the points. Model right here maybe line or plane. Uh, it's in iteration with the mode in line in layers to the models is the best. So right here is is easy for you to understand. You have a a lot of the data points right here with a lot of outlier right here in layers right here. You know in layers right here. But how the red side pick this one in layers? The best one, the best model for us, this one. So they randomly pick up the sub samples, okay, sub sample of the points right here, this red one. And they, they check the distance from the, the red point right here, it's red point to the, the line. If they less than threshold distance, okay, it's in, in layer and they create one model. And they another iteration they pick right here. And they check the response right here to the the line. And if the distance less than threshold distance, okay, it's in, in layer. And they check another distance iteration. They have a lot of iteration. Uh, in iteration, they pick up the sub, sub set of points right here, okay? For example, right here, and they check right here. And all the response in layers. And another iteration, the, all the response in layer. And for example, right here, and right here, and right here, okay? And after that, they, they guess, they compare all the models together, they get which one had the highest point in subset of the points, okay? Which one had the highest point in the liars is the best model, okay? So, So the number of inliers are counted. I mean, the number of rest one is counted. So by its iterating through every remaining points and calculating its distance to the models. So the points that are within the certain distance to the models are counted as inliers. So the iteration, iteration that have the highest number of inliers is then the best model. So this will be be implementation in the code, and you will see it clearly. But for example, uh, you implement, uh, implementing the range set for lies. So its iteration randomly pick up the two point data because the lie, the 2D uh, space, right? So you pick up the two point data. So you fit the line between two points and you calculate distance every point to the fitted line. If the distance is within the tolerance, the points is a liar, right? In in liars. So this is a formula of the equation of the line and the distance from the point to the line, point to the line, this equation. And for example, right here, we generate this data points. We pick, for example, we pick up the subset of points right here. For example, we, we pick two points. We draw the line and we calculate the distance on other points to the line. If they less than the threshold distance, okay, that's uh, in the lines. 
uh, in a liar. That's uh, in in liars, right? So we go to the code. I show you how we apply for the code. Right here, uh, we generate. We have the function create data right here. That the type, that the type right here. The BCL and points X Y Z. Okay, and we generate random generate the data points. Okay, right here, and then we write the range set function right here. The more important thing right here, I, I hope you understand the range set, how range set works. And in the range set function, we fit the data points, okay, and the number of iterations and the distance toleration, how far from the point to the, the line, okay, how many iterations you want. And right here, you uh, have the variable right here, for example, you use the under, another set. Another set may hold the best model, best fit model for you. And you know how the under sets work. You can go to the website right here. You see under sets are container that store unit elements in no particular orders, okay? So, and then you run the mass iteration, run all the iteration, right? And you pick up the two points from the data points, right? And you create the line, right? And you read right here, you read the point in, in layer, right? In layer right here is under set two, an order set type, because you, you don't want to repeat the one point two time. For example, uh, in that say the point at the zero one time, and another time you pick zero again. So, in layer, uh, under set variable is help you to get the unit indexes inside the layer. Okay. In the part in the cloud right here, you have the side, and they randomly okay pick up the two points. Okay, and they insert into in layers. So after that, they got the first one. They got the second one into in layers. They calculate the coefficient ABC. They will calculate the distance from the another point to the line equation if they less than the distance tolerance. Okay, they insert into in layers, right? Look like it's plain before in the picture. It's the same thing. And we use the if right here. Why? Because we count the indexes, how many points into in layer. So if they already have more than zero, so it, that's point are in, in layer. So we don't care about that. We continue to check another point right here, and we insert into in layer. They return to in layer result right here. OK, it's easy to understand. And in the main, you just call the creator data, and you call the range set. OK, I fit the data point cloud. I want to 10 time iteration and the distance, uh, the rest distance, right here, the, the tolerant distance right here, the one, okay? And we create the two cloud right here, one in layer, one outliers right here. You see the tie right here? Remember the tie right here, okay? The pointer tie right here, the BCL and the variable right here is the point XYZ. And so, we put the color for each one for the cloud in layers is red one, our layer is green one, the color. Okay, that's it. So let's run it.
Okay, we have the executive file right here, quick reset. So right now you say quick show you the result right here. You can see that they this is the best fit model right here. Okay. We generate the data points right here, and after 10 iterations, they choose the best one for you, the, the best one for you, okay? Let's see. here in this example I hope you understand how we apply the algorithm into the code for the 2d model okay 2d model time right here is I mean we calculate the elapsed time from start to the end how far how long did it take for the it uh, for instance okay for to get the best model okay how long does that work and how long did it takes Okay, you get the elapsed time right here. Okay, you get the how long it takes to get the best fit model for you. Uh huh. You see right here, how thing right here. They calculate. Okay, they pitch the two point. They calculate the coefficient for light equation. Then they check the distance from the sub the point to the line. It less than tolerant insert to the inlier. That's it. That's easy. Okay. Mm. I told you that's the the bad is a lie. Okay. What about the plane three D something like this? Uh, right now we have to change a little bit. We apply the same algorithm by change a little bit right here. It's not two D. Right here, 3D. So 3D is related to the plane. So we have a formula, the plane formula right here. Uh, and how for how to calculate the distance from the point to the distance to the plane? We have a formula to calculate the uh, distance from the points to the plane. Okay, and we apply the same algorithm um, to get the result like this. Okay, and Go back to the code and go back to environment. Last, uh, last video, you already know how to generate the point cloud data, right? Right now, you have to build up the one more function, say, search Rensas plane, okay? And you fit the input cloud and the number iteration and distance tolerant, okay, to the plane, and they create the result for you with the obstacle and blank cloud, okay? How to do that? We go back to the process point cloud right here. Last video, I already told you this, this file, they contain all the function, uh, for example, separate cloud, segmentation, or filter, <coughs> And we continue to do next video too. But today I just uh, focus on the one function, uh, apply the range size algorithms right here, range size plane. Right here we use the template, right? Right here using pointy, pointy a lot right here. That the type variable in PCL. Sometimes you need the uh, PCL SYC or sometimes you need the point SYCI, different type variable, but you write one time. One function and we review the code again and again. So go back to the right here. You use pair right here. Why? Because this function want to return two cloud, one the obstacle and one for the blank clouds. Okay. Right side right here, they will fit create the function right here. They fit the input cloud right here. Okay. And they put the iteration iteration and distance threshold right here okay and then the apply look like the same we did for 2d for the live best fit we look at when we find the the best model in the line so for the plan we need three points right here right okay then so they call the inline result in the under set okay they host the best fit 
model for us and we create another variable right here in the set because like we don't want the random point right here points right here they repeat two times okay we pick three points right here we calculate the coefficient for a b c d and then we say okay if in line they already have the sum index okay so continue don't care we calculate another points okay we calculate another point to the plane okay if they less than distance threshold put into the layer okay and that's it and then we return to result and in the environment right here the last time you already generate the point cloud right now you say you call the glass point process point cloud right here in process point cloud of HCC right here you write the function why because you write the function uh, range set range set length in the point cloud of CPP right so you had to call that function uh, call that class into the environment file right and you say this class and variable point t right here you can see the pcl point xyz that's the benefit of the template function you call the point processor then you say pair plc i want to get two cloud one obstacle and one blank clouds okay and you call the function with the mass iteration 100 and the threshold distance is 0.2 okay and right here you render point cloud with two the first one obstacle in the rest one the blank cloud is the green one okay that's it it's easy and okay we just run i hope you know how to uh, how to run the code in a uh, linux system you have to create a view right you have to run the mac and they create the execute file right here environment for you okay and you say environment right here and they help you to uh separate Cementation the plan for you right from the data point you know right here another car okay right here another car maybe here another car three car on the road right uh, uh, right here you can see because the noise you see this look the data look like real and you see when you take the time inside the code because we know how long it take brain set take to get uh, to, fit, to get the best fit model for us, it's 29 millisecond, right? Uh, okay, so for example, we change the noise. Uh, that time you remember how we change the, you know, to like. If we don't put a noise right here, we put it in yellow and they train a little bit different for us. We try to make the game. I hope you understand how the range set work. And I create the executive file right here.
Okay. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> this wheel. right here sorry let's remind you how we play with the code okay cf cb and match recommend you play with the Linux more often than the window so have you right here you can see if we don't put the noise right here everything really smooth right the data point right very smooth uh, one car right here one car right here and one car right here right Okay, but anyway, we must assimilate the same thing into the real environment. So, uh, I want to say again, right here, we create a template function. Okay, with the point T right here, right? Sometimes we have to change to PCL point XYZ or XYZI. Okay. Uh, or S Y Z G R G B. Okay, different type variables right here. We call the function uh, process right here, right? Uh, we call the class right here. It's into the process point cloud. It's name function range set plane, and you fit into the right here the arguments, the different threshold, iteration, and the input cloud. Okay, and after that, you do the same thing into the two D. Okay, I hope you understand this one and when you run it and this your results okay so generally today I hope you understand this algorithm is really important for next video I show you clustering 